dive into the GMAT, exploring its structure. Hello there, English language learners. Today, we're diving deep into the GMAT, which is a crucial test for many who aspire to join business schools. Specifically, we'll unravel the structure of the GMAT. So, if you're preparing or planning to take this test in the future, stick around. Before diving into the structure, it's important to understand what the GMAT is. The Graduate Management Admission Test GMAT, is a standardized test used by business schools worldwide to assess the qualifications of applicants for advanced study in business and management. The GMAT is divided into four main sections. 1. Analytical Writing Assessment. 2. Integrated Reasoning. 3. Quantitative Reasoning. 4. Verbal Reasoning. Each section tests different skills and is crucial for assessing your readiness for a business program. In this section, you'll be asked to write an essay that critiques a given argument. It's all about assessing your critical thinking and communication skills. You'll have 30 minutes to complete this. This section tests your ability to evaluate information from multiple sources. Questions may involve interpreting graphs, tables, or passages. It has 12 questions to be answered in 30 minutes. Math Alert! Here, you'll face problem solving and data sufficiency questions. This section assesses your skills in algebra, arithmetic, and geometry. You'll have 62 minutes to solve 31 questions. Time to test your language skills. This section measures your reading comprehension, critical reasoning, and sentence correction abilities. With 36 questions, you're given 65 minutes to complete it. And that wraps up the structure of the GMAT. Remember, Mastering each section requires practice and dedication. Stay consistent in your preparation, and you'll find success. We hope this overview was helpful and wish you all the best in your GMAT journey.